Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make sticker sheets. So I'm going to start on a website called Photopea and I'm going to insert my image. I hand drew these on Procreate on my iPad and when I downloaded it I made sure it was um, a PNG and had a transparent background but if it's not you can right click on this button here, click on magic wand and click on the background and then hit delete. I don't have any background right now, so nothing changed. Okay, so now I'm going to go into layer and click on layer style and go to stroke. And then you'll see a very faint red outline. So it's really faint because the size is really small. So I'm going to increase the size to 15. And since I like the size, I'm going to change the color to white. And then hit OK. And then I'm going to export as PNG. Now over on Cricut, I have a new project open and I'm going to upload my sticker sheet. So after I upload it, I always save it as a complex image. And then I just go in and make sure there's no random stray marks on here. And you can also see that in the cut image. You want to make sure you save it as a print then cut image. So now I'm going to upload this image onto my canvas. So if you want, you can make one big sticker sheet of this, but it can only be um, 6.75 inches wide and 9.25 inches tall. And I'm actually going to make sticker sheets that are 4 inches by 6 inches. So I'm going to change the height to 6 and my stickers are less than 4 inches wide so this is fine. Now I'm going to add in a shape. This is going to be the white paper that um, the sheet is going to be printed on. So I'm going to make this 4 by 6 and you have to make sure you unlock it on the top otherwise it keeps it as a square. And I'm going to change the background to white since I'm printing on white paper and I want to send this to the back. Now I'm going to select both and I'm going to align center. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller, like 5.9, just so none of the edges get cut off. Okay, and then align center again. And um, the Cricut won't print. Okay. And we can actually fit two sheets of this, so I'm going to select both and rotate it 270 degrees and move it to 0, 0, which is the top left corner. And then now if I select both again and duplicate it, I can move this to 0, 4. And when you select both, it's 6 inches wide and 8 inches tall, which fits in the print and cut setting on the Cricut. And make sure you don't flatten um, the image, otherwise it's not going to cut any of the shapes out, it's just going to cut the rectangles. So what I like doing is adding more of these white squares in the back, because when I cut these out, I'm not cutting it through the paper, so the paper isn't actually going to cut out of the big paper. I hope that makes sense. So um, I'm going to create four more boxes. Okay, and I'm going to select all of them and move center back because I want them all behind my images. So now I'm going to move this one to 0, 0. This one to 0, 0. So there should be this layer and then three sheets of um, the rectangle behind it. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. So I'm going to move this to 0, 4. And... 0, 4. So that means the Cricut is going to cut out the rectangle three times and that will usually be enough for my Cricut to cut through everything. Okay, and now you want to attach because you don't want the rectangles just cut out without anything on it. And you can add more layers in the back if you feel like you need to. And send to printer. So I'm not going to add any bleed because we have a white outline around our pictures and I'm going to use the system dialog. And I got a new printer so now I'm using the Canon TS8300 
I can go into preferences and change the print quality to high. So after I print it, I'm going to connect it to my um, Bluetooth and I'm going to select sticky note. And since my paper is a little bit thicker, I'm going to use more instead of the default. So now I'm going to remove it and make sure you bend the mat and not the paper. Thank you so much for watching. I also have the designs of the corgis on apparel such as t-shirts and hoodies that you can find on Teespring and Amazon. I'll leave the links down below if you're interested. Have a good day! Bye!